Have the family lied to me all these years? Has my father lied to me? 91-year-old Jean was evacuated in World War II. She never saw her mother again and was told that she died before the war ended. She now wants to find out if this is true. I would really like to know whether my mother actually did die during the war, as I was told when I was a child, or did she live on and have another family and another life? For an auntie's birthday present, the family took me to see the evacuee memorial. And then Kevin mentioned that he was going to Manchester. And um, I said to him, well, would you see where my house used to be? And I was totally amazed when Kevin rang me and he said, Mum, your house hasn't been bombed. It's still standing. Your house is there. It's a complete road of houses. I have lived my whole life believing the story that I was told. But if the house wasn't bombed, where did my mother go? There are so many unanswered questions. I think it's time I knew the truth. Jean is visiting Churi to discover if DNA can provide answers about her mother. So the first thing I can tell you is that your mother was not killed in the war. She died in 1958. Yeah. So she didn't die when I was told she died. There's more. And we could see on the records that Alice married a man called George Wass. They had a daughter. Her name was Valerie, and that is your half-sister. Wow. She had two daughters. This is Dawn, and that's Cheryl. And they're alive and well. They're your nieces. Oh my gosh. Mm. And Dawn was really more than happy to take a DNA test. The DNA test gave us conclusive evidence as to what had happened to your mum. I can't believe that after everything you just said. You wondered about, did she, you know, she did leave. She did leave. And did she go on to have a happy life? And it seems mm. that she did. Yeah, I, I, I hope she did. Mm. That's a big sigh of relief. Yes. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, all right, Jane. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. We've been in touch with Cheryl and, and Dawn. Oh. Yeah. And they are thrilled. They can't oh, believe. Are they really? <laughs> that they've got you as a yeah, new family <laughs> member. Oh. <laughs> they told a really beautiful story, actually, that there was a photo in your mother's bedroom. And whenever anyone would say, Who's the, who are these two girls? She would say, they're two very, very special little girls. Just one last thing, Jean, I want to share with you, and then I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Cheryl and Dawn asked me to pass over this. Dear Jean, or should we say dear Auntie Jean, we are Cheryl and Dawn, your newfound nieces. Our mum Valerie, your sister, she was infectious, warm, loving, kind and caring. You in turn would have loved her. We're extremely excited to find that we have a whole new family out there. There is so much to say. 
and are looking forward to hopefully meeting with you and your family. We wish you and your family all the very best and good health. Take care, Cheryl and Dawn. Oh, I'm really pleased no. for you. I am so pleased. I really, really am. Mm.